Hi there, welcome to GGB DIY. I'm Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm participating in a playlist celebrating World Turtle Day. I'm making some turtle crafts, so let's get started. To get started on this first DIY, I'm going to use these wood keychains from Michaels. I get these in their dollar section, and I really like to grab these um, and use four banners on my tear trays. So I'm going to take off the key ring and then I'm going to give it a quick sand with about, I think it's about 100, 150 grit sandpaper, just something to kind of even out all those edges and clean it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with a small paintbrush and some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. And I'm just going to paint this on at the very bottom third of the uh, keychain here. And as you can see, I'm not being too careful about that top edge because I want this to look like water and sand. So now I'm going to go in with my nautical, no, this is the Nantucket blue from uh, Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint. And I'm going to paint that in the next third. And then I'm going to go in with the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color nautical for the very top. So I'm going to paint that on and then I'm going to kind of go back and forth between the two blues and blend them together. So I'm just, I'm not cleaning off my brush at all. I'm just gonna dip back into the Nantucket blue and then back into the nautical, back into the Nantucket, and I'll just keep kind of blending those together until I'm happy with the look that I get. Now taking a stiff paintbrush, I'm going to dip it in the Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going to stipple that on along the bottom part, kind of where the blue and the brown meet uh, to make it look like waves crashing. So as you could see there at the beginning, the colors kind of mixed together and as I kept adding and layering, the white got a little bit brighter. Now I'm going to take one of these small Dollar Tree uh, sea turtle wood cutouts. <laughs> these were so cute and I was so happy to see these at the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to section off where the shell would be and then I will paint the body of the sea turtle with the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint color Sage. And I'll leave everything that I use in my description box down below so that if you're curious about colors you can find them. Next, I'm going to paint the main part of the sea turtle shell with the Nantucket blue. And I'll just paint that all in. Now I'm going in with a detail brush and the nautical blue paint. And I'm going to create these kind of blocky shapes. They're not necessarily square or rectangle, kind of rounded, kind of just, just shapes. And I just looked at pictures of how a turtle's shell kind of looks and that's kind of what I went off of. So if you're not sure how a turtle or sea turtle shell looks, uh, definitely look up some pictures and then you can create your shell based on what you see. So I'm going to continue until all of the areas are kind of filled in um, and it looks more like a shell. And here's how it looks when it's all done. Super cute. Now we're gonna finish off our banner. So I'm going to add my sea turtles right to the front just with a little bit of hot glue. And I'll add them in different ways. So one will face up to the left, one will face up to the right, one will face down to the left, and one will face down to the right. Now I'm gonna add a small bead to the back of each of my keychains here. And this is just going to make it uh, so that I can easily thread through my baker's twine. And you'll see that here in just a minute. So I'm going to add my baker's twine to a darning needle. And uh, as you can see, I'm just going to thread that right through those beads. And that's how I'm going to create my banner for my tear tray. Now I have a huge button collection, um, but I went through it and I found four buttons that all matched that were blue. 
and I believe that these came from Walmart. I don't know if they still have them or not, but you can just look for any kind of blue buttons that might match the same kind of colors. And then I'm going to create a little baker's twine bow to go on the tops of each of those buttons and everything's just hot glued down. And that is all there is to it. This finishes off my banner and I think this is just super cute and I love how it looks on the tear tray. As I mentioned before, today is World Turtle Day. Today is a day to bring awareness to turtles and I'm teaming up with four lovely ladies. I will talk more about this here in just a few minutes, but while we wait, I'm going to show you my next DIY. So I'm gonna take this wood plank from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna give it a coat of the Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. And I'm just going to make sure that that is completely even all the way around. Now I'm gonna, now I'm going to add some washi tape to create a border. So I'm going to tear off a small piece. This will be my spacer piece. And I'm going to place it down on my wood plank right up to the edge of that plank. Now taking a length that will completely go from one side to the other, I'm going to uh, very carefully put it down so that I'm trying to keep, keep it as even as possible. But I'm just going to place that down just like that. And then I will do the same exact thing to the very bottom of this wood plank so that I've got one on the top, one on the bottom. And I'll just use my fingers to kind of press that tape down to make sure that it's nice and secure so that when I go to paint, I don't have any bleeding. Now I'm going to use a makeup sponge and this is, you can use a clothespin or whatever to hold your makeup sponge. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, you don't have to, you can use your fingers too, but I'm just going to pounce that makeup sponge into my paint and then pounce it onto my wood plank and I'll keep pouncing and getting the coverage that I want. So I'm going to go along the edges as well, uh, just to finish this off. While my wood planks are drying, I'm gonna work on my sea turtles. So I picked up these sea turtles from 24 Hour Crafts. I had bought them before I'd seen all the stuff, all the sea turtle stuff, I should say, from Dollar Tree. Uh, so if you can't find the Dollar Tree sea turtles, the 24 Hour Crafts is a great place to buy them. You can get them in all kinds of sizes and the wood quality is super nice. So I'm going to paint the fins and the head of my sea turtle with the folk art home decor chalk paint in the color sage but i mixed it in with some white so it's a nice light green color and then i will go in with just the sage color for the shell so these are going to be two-toned green turtles and i just really like how these turned out so now i wanted to create a spackle look on these sea turtles so i'm going to cover up the head and the fins with a little bit of paper towel and then taking a paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in white and then I'll flick on the paint using my finger and then I'll do the same with black. And you can get the same look with like a toothbrush if you don't have a paintbrush you can use. And I just love how this turned out. I think it's super adorable. But if you wanted to go in and just paint the seashell like I did before, feel free. So now taking a paint pen, I'm going to around the edge of my wood plank and I'm just gonna add some dashes and dots. We're just adding those cute little details here that I think complete uh, projects. Now I'm gonna take a heart left over from Valentine's Day from the Dollar Tree and I painted it with the nautical blue. And then I'm gonna go in with the white paint pen and just do those dots and dashes along the very outside edge as well. And of course, adding some little details to my sea turtle as well. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the well wishes for my mom and I. She has recovered and is complete, almost completely better. 
and I ended up having to go into the doctor, got some antibiotics for sinus infection and bronchitis, but I am doing much better now, feeling better, and my energy levels are starting to really increase. So I really do appreciate all the well wishes and prayers that you guys offered up. You are amazing, and I am so thankful for you. So now to finish off our little plaque here, I'm just going to glue my sea turtles down and my heart. And then I'm gonna add a tumbling tower block to the back to make this a freestanding piece. And that is all there is to this project. It is so cute and I love how it looks on this tear tray. All right, for this DIY, I grabbed a six pack of these little wood rounds from Walmart. I think they're about three or four inches, so they're not too big. And I'm going to start off with the nautical blue on the very outside edge. So I've seen pictures of like sea turtles in the ocean and you've got kind of these darker areas with the light coming in from the top and then the little sea turtle swimming around. And so that's what I wanted to create on this piece. So I started out with the nautical blue on the very outside edge. And then without cleaning off my brush, I'm going to dip into the Nantucket blue. And I'll just kind of swirl those together and blend them. As you can see, I'm kind of being messy here, not really too precise, just kind of going back and forth between the nautical blue and the Nantucket blue, just to get a nice blend there. Now I'm gonna introduce some agave from Waverly, kind of in towards the middle. And this is just kind of creating that area where it starts getting lighter and lighter, where the sun is kind of shining down. So I'm gonna keep going back in, blending that out, and then I'm gonna add in some white. Again, I have not cleaned off my paintbrush at all. I'm just dipping back and forth into my colors and they're just blending. As you can see, that middle portion isn't even like a pure white. It's kind of a light blue because it's mixing in with all those different blue colors. But I'll just kind of keep going back and forth I'm gonna go all the way out to the outside edge with a dark blue and blend it in, blend out, blend in. Um, and you just kind of keep going that way until you get it how you like it. Now, <laughs> I decided that I wanted to make the edges a little bit darker. Like I wanted this to be just a tiny bit more moody, like it's really kind of towards the bottom of the ocean or darker, you know? So I'm gonna go in with some Waverly chalk paint and ink. You definitely don't have to do this. Um, and you know, it's easy to get too much of the black. Black is very uh, opaque and it will overtake everything really quickly. So if you do the black, just be very careful and use a little bit. And at this point I still hadn't like washed my brush off or changed it, but now I have because I really wanted that center area to be more light and it was just getting too mixed in with the black. So I did change out my paintbrush there and as you can see, the center part is definitely lighter now. So I'm going to kind of paint the edge of my wood round here and I'll do the back as well. Now I have this little turtle. These were the wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I painted it black and then added a layer of the blue color shift from Folk Art. I'll show you here. Yeah, from Folk Art. So this is the color shift. It's super beautiful. Um, but you just paint the turtle black or whatever color you want underneath and then paint that color shift over the top and you've got this beautiful iridescent kind of turtle and I'm just going to hot glue that right onto my wood round and then if you want you can add some tumbling tower blocks or square blocks to the back to make this a freestanding piece and I just love how this turned out. I'm so excited to be pairing up with each of these amazing crafters here on YouTube, Crafting in a Mimi's World, 
Rustic and Lace DIY, Six Kids in a Glue Gun, and Jackie Burns Creation. We are going to have a playlist available that I'll link down below. Watch each of our videos on the playlist, comment on each, and you'll be entered in to win that beautiful jewelry set. Today is World Turtle Day. It is a day to think about and help the turtles of the world. They're in danger and they need our help. So let's do what we can to help save this wonderful species. Moving on to our next DIY, I'm going to take one of these wood block houses from the Dollar Tree and I gave the back side of it a coat of the Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Sage. And then I painted up three of these little turtles, wood turtles from the Dollar Tree. Two of them are in Dantucket blue and then the middle one is in the nautical blue. And I'm just going to hot glue those to the bottom of my little house. And as you can see, the, the very outside edges of the turtles, those two outside ones, are actually hanging off of the little house. And I am totally okay with that. I think it looks really cute. But if you prefer, you can kind of arrange them so that they're all on the house. Next, I'm gonna take my white paint pen and I'm gonna do some dashes and dots all along the outside edge. And then I'll go in and do some um, dashes and dots and things like that inside my little turtles as well. Now I'm going to use some of this Baker's Twine. This is a Baker's Twine that I got at Dollar Tree. It's just gray and white and I thought that that matched my color scheme pretty nicely. So I'm going to wrap that around the top part of my house a couple of times and I will just hot glue that to the back. And then I'm going to take a double strand of the Baker's Twine and I'm just going to create a very basic bow here and I'll hot glue that to kind of the top portion of my little house here. And then I'll trim off those ends. And that is all there is to this one. Super cute and easy and a perfect topper for a tear tray. This project was really fun. This is one of those new pieces from the Dollar Tree. It's like a ceramic um, circle, but it's got a stand on the back of it. So to prepare for what I'm doing, I'm gonna take some of this white sand from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna mix it in with glitter. I know guys, glitter, I was a little nervous, but it actually turned out pretty good. So don't be scared of the glitter, but if you don't wanna use glitter, you could definitely use the colored sands. And Dollar Tree carries so many different colors or um, you can get different colors from Michaels as well. So if you don't wanna do the glitter, you can definitely just use sand for this. So now I'm gonna get my Mod Podge and this is just the satin finish Mod Podge, but it doesn't really matter which kind of Mod Podge you use. You're just gonna to wanna to put kind of a thick coat on the very bottom half of your little plate here. And I'm just gonna make sure that every bit of that area has got Mod Podge on it. Now I'm going to sprinkle on my sand and glitter. And as you can see, I placed a piece of paper underneath so that I can catch all of that extra glitter and sand when I dump it off. And then I'll just kind of sprinkle that off and use a dry paintbrush just to make sure that I get off all of the extra sand and glitter. And I'll just keep doing this until Everything is clean and I'll let that dry. And if there's any spots that I need to go back in with um, the Mod Podge after it's dry, I can add more Mod Podge and sprinkle more of the sand and glitter on it. Now I'm gonna use a Sharpie here to mark off my ocean and wave. So if you wanna kinda of do this with a pencil first, you can, uh, but I was just decided to marker A so that you guys can see it better to see what I'm doing. Um, and B, I just, I was kind of where I went with it. So, but you could definitely probably do a pencil on this and it would work just fine. And then it's a little bit easier to erase if, if you make a mistake. So now going in with the Mod Podge again, just dabbing that on so that it's nice and covered. 
and I'm gonna do that to the whole area. And I made sure that I covered up that Sharpie marker as well. So just going up to that line, and I'll just keep dabbing that on. Now I'm gonna get really crazy here and we're gonna go in with full glitter. So again, like I said, you can use regular colored sand for this if you didn't wanna use glitter, but I am just using two different colors of glitter. I get this glitter from Michaels. It is the Recollections brand and I just have a ton of different glitter on hand. So that's kind of why I chose to use the glitter It's because it was something I already had on hand. And as you can see, I'm kind of dumping my glitter extra glitter off to the end that doesn't have the sand on it because I want to try and keep the blue from getting in with my sand and then again I'll use that dry paint brush just to really clean everything up and make sure that it's all as clean as possible Once that's all dry, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give it a couple of coats of this polycrylic uh, just to seal in that glitter and sand. Now I'm gonna use some little beads that I have on hand. I believe these probably came from like Michaels, but I think you can get you know little beads like this at any craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. Um, or you can use one of those little wood sea turtles. And then I had some of these starfish and this little uh, sand dollar <laughs> in my stash as well. So I'm just gonna glue everything down If you don't have like the metal pieces you could definitely cut out some paper stars or Just you know, you don't have to use the stars at all So these little seashells come from the Dollar Tree They're in the little glass jars and you can get multiple different kinds of seashells Just look around and see what they have but I had a couple different kinds of seashells and I'm just going to glue these down to the bottom part of my little plate here and I'm just using hot glue for this but when I go in to glue on the metal pieces I do use a fix all for that and that's just gonna make sure that it stays um, because glue hot glue and metal don't always work very nicely together they don't play well so the fix all will make sure that those stay nice and secure for forever, probably. And here is a look at the finished product. I really love how this turned out. I think it is really fun and uh, super great on a tear tray. All right, for our last DIY, we're gonna make a little beaded garland. So I have this sea turtle ornament that came from the Dollar Tree. And then I also had that tag sign that I picked up at Walmart. But for now, I'm going to mark off my sea turtle again. And because this guy is a little bit bigger, I'm going to add a little more detail to it. So I'm going to go in and just kind of mark off about an eighth of an inch along the whole outside of the shell or the inside of the shell, I should say. And then I'm going to mark off the sections that I want to paint. So just using my pencil, that way I can kind of see where I'm going with all the stuff. And then I went in with the sage for the fins and the head. And then I'm going to use the Nantucket blue for the base of the shell and the nautical blue for the spots. Real quick, I wanna plug my Facebook group. So if you haven't checked it out, I host it with my friend Lisa over at Our Gray House. It's completely free. 
I will link it in my description box down below. Come join us. We love to share our ideas and what we're creating. As I mentioned before, this wood tag came from Walmart and I had just given the outside edge the um, sage color from Folk Art and then the inside is the Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And now I'm just dry brushing more of the sage green on top of the mineral um, because I thought it would give it a really nice beachy look. And then I had gotten a couple different size beads out of my stash. The smaller ones I painted with Nantucket blue and the bigger ones I painted with nautical blue. Now I'm going to go in with my paint pen and I'm going to add all of those cute little details that I love to add. Now I'm going to string my beads on to my baker's twine and I'm just using a darning needle. And once I get all the beads on, I'm going to stack my tag and my turtle and I'm going to pull my baker's twine through and then I'm going to loop it back up through all of my beads so that my tag and my sea turtle are secured down at the bottom without having to tie a knot. So I'll just go all the way through the beads and then I will tie that off with a knot once I make sure everything is pulled snugly, not too tight, but you want it to be snug. And then I'll just tie that off. Now I'm going to create a tassel using this little tassel maker from Clover. It is um, a mini tassel maker and I probably could have gone up a size on this, but I wasn't really sure how big this tassel would be. I hadn't ever used this tassel maker before. So, um, I definitely would make it a bigger tassel, but it ends up being pretty cute in the end anyway. So you wrap around the, um, the plastic part there, and then I'm going to tie my beaded garland right to the center of that portion, and then I'll cut it off. And this is going to create our tassel. So now our beaded garland is nice and secure to our tassel, and then we're going to tie off that very top um, part of our tassel. So I'm just using an extra piece of baker's twine and I'll just go down as far as I want and then tie that off with a couple of knots. And then to kind of hide the ends, I'm going to take those long strings and I'm going to pull them kind of through the middle of my tassel with my darning needle. And that just kind of helps hide those ends, but you don't have to do that part. It's kind of an extra if you want. So I'll just kind of pull everything down and make sure it's all nice. And then I'll give it a trim just to finish off those edges. And like I said, this is a really stubby tassel and maybe a little thicker because of the baker's twine, but I still think it's pretty cute and I like how it turned out. And here's a look at it on our tear tray. So here's a final look at our tear tray all put together. I love how each one of these little projects came together and I absolutely adore sea turtles. I think this is such a fun craft and such a fun tear tray idea. What do you think? Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you check out the playlist and make sure that you comment on everyone's videos so that you can be entered in for that beautiful jewelry set giveaway. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a happy, healthy, and blessed day, and I will see you at the next video. Bye!